Here's your week in the future in review. Really interesting stories this week. The first is that NVIDIA is really accelerating its focus on creating virtual worlds to train agents in. We've seen the same thing happening at Amazon with AWS for robotics. It's really exciting. It's the beginning of what's called physical AI. The idea that robots are going to start to, to have intelligence that they learn from data in the real world. Not in the real world. They're going to learn it in the matrix. They're going to learn it in video games. What, what somebody recently called really boring video games that allow them to do things repeatedly. This is exciting if it works. And it may be a path toward U.S. leadership in this area. The challenge, the real challenge in this is that China has so much more manufacturing than the United States does that when you look at the Chinese economy, about 30% is manufacturing. About 30% of their people are also in manufacturing. That's two and a half times the size of the U.S. workforce. It's, it's larger than the entire population of the United States. All of those people, all of that work that they're doing is going to generate data. And so in terms of U.S.-China competition on AI, the question is whether we can use synthetic data, data learned in video games, as effectively as we can use data in the real world. There's a couple of early indicators about what might be true here. The first is what's been going on in self-driving vehicles. There's a bet going on right now between Waymo, which has done extensive data analysis and extensive data collection over many years to train its cars versus what's going on at companies like Tesla that are trying to accelerate their path forward by using a lot of work in the virtual world as well. We'll see where this all goes. It's going to be an exciting world moving forward. You know, billions of people, billions of robots all working together all at the same time. And it's not the past. It is the present. I was in Miami the other day and Coco Robotics has got these, these, Igloo coolers on wheels, spinning around the entire city nonstop, going from restaurant to people's houses. That's the first step. This is going to happen to everything else, too. 